Well, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday's trading on 24th of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the www.tradesignal.com or download it at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, the numbers for today, we have uh, Asian markets higher overnight, certainly uh, shaking off concerns with regards to uh, Mr. Trump's health care bill, certainly going forward uh, in terms of uh, being accepted uh, and the votes passed for it. It certainly has been negated uh, somewhat given the... Uh, given the fact that Mr. Trump has vowed to uh, continue regardless and move on to tax reform next. So it certainly has been played down. In terms of Asia, certainly higher thus far. European markets, slightly negative. Uh, certainly slightly negative. You have the FTSE down four points. For DAX, more or less uh, flat. And the CAC, more or less flat as well. In terms of economic data this morning, or overnight, we've had the uh, Nikkei PMIs coming in uh, more or less in line. Uh, G, your French GDP coming in more or less in line. Uh, French PMI and services certainly stronger, European uh, services and PMI stronger as well, and German data certainly coming in on the stronger side. We have Fed Evans later on, durable goods data, we have um, CPI from Canada, uh, again we have this potential healthcare bill vote, but from my perspective it certainly has been negated and is considered negative now, or should we say, uh, not negative, but uh, the negative aspect of it certainly has been factored in. And uh, from my perspective, it really is noise, and that's what you can be relegated to, given the fact that Mr. Trump stated that he will continue on to his tax reform bill regardless, and therefore it loses loses its potency in terms of actually shifting and moving the markets. So where are we now, technically speaking? Okay, let's start with the German DAX here, folks. Okay, let's go to the daily chart first and foremost. So again, bear in mind you had stronger PMI data today. Uh, the German DAX certainly has the op uh, opportunity here to potentially retest the highs at double top at 12.156. So just bear that in mind on the daily chart. 60 minute chart on the uh, German DAX. We are holding resistance here at 75%. Certainly, given the uh, stronger PMI data today, uh, don't be surprised if we actually push higher up to 12.100 and 12.120 as well. Okay, just bear that in mind. 10 minute chart. On the German DAX at the moment, we are seeing slight weakness here. Okay, on the German DAX, so bear that in mind. Again, the next wheel of resistance is seen at 12,065, and then obviously 12,120 on the German DAX on the upside. If we start to flush lower, then you are looking at previous resistance equal support at 11,960, so bear that in mind. In terms of the French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you here. Okay, we start off with the daily chart. Daily chart is still showing immense strength, uh, given the fact that we've had stronger PMI readings as well. Certainly a high probability that we uh, obviously move to the uh, upside again. Now, you are consolidating here. Certainly some uh, bullish consolidation, and then obviously looking for a potential bull flag to play out and, and lead us to new highs. So certainly keep that um, uh, potential theory in play. Okay, so uh, certainly become cognizant of it, and it's certainly a high probability that it could play out. Now, the 10-minute chart certainly is consolidating again. You have gap fill above, which is seen at 5032, and then you have resistance above at 5055. So it'd be interesting to see if we can actually uh, trigger that. Okay, so if I just take the pivot low to pivot low here. Okay, just connect the pivot lows together. You certainly are coming into a diagonal trend line support, so bear that in mind. You have gap fill uh, above on the uh, French CAC. So again, stronger economic data on the EU zone. Asian markets higher overnight. Trump bill certainly played down, given the fact that he's going to continue his tax reform. Again, bias certainly bullish there. FTSE weekly chart, as you know, rising contracting wedge pine, uh, terror concerns in London, a rising inflation, etc. But having said that, inflation data has been played down by BOE's uh, Vileg, uh, stating that uh, inflation isn't a major concern at present. And therefore, we can allow for a potential overshoot. So again, bear that in mind. Okay, uh, the only negative uh, uh, argument really is uh, Mr. Priat was uh, hawkish, and the UK Brexit bill is at 50 billion, and obviously the uh, ongoing uh, terror concerns as well in London. Although Westminster, thank God, has opened again, and everything is returning to some sort of normality. Daily chart: you are you are into key re previous resistance equal support. Okay, you've got diagonal trend line support. So this zone here at 7315, solid, and certainly will act uh, as solid support as well. Okay, 10-minute chart on the FTSE 100. Let's just zoom in here. 
Okay, 10 minute chart present. Uh, previous resistance equals support 7330, so that certainly is a buying zone. Uh, again, looking for a potential high up to 7360 on the FTSE 100. So, bias certainly remains bullish on the FTSE from my perspective. Okay, again, can we break through this key resistance line here? Uh, I expect it to do so. Uh, the next real resistance is seen at 7365 and then if that breaks then you are looking at fear 7370 7390 and 7400 on the 60 minute chart on the FTSE 100 so certainly a potential uh, long uh, setup there for me if i uh, choose to do so i need stronger economic data a bullish bias etc uh, but at present i am long euro stocks that's my current trade at present okay so again looking for the FTSE to thrust higher up to 7360 okay in terms of euro stocks let's just bring that up for you okay weekly chart the next real resistance in euro stocks is at 3520 nothing stopping it at present daily chart let's just have a look here consolidating okay at the highs uh, again looking to potentially thrust higher 60 minute chart the euro stocks you've uh, retraced up to 75 percent certainly an argument here that we can go higher and retest that 3470 zone given stronger economic data so nothing really stopping it from them okay again you have unfilled gap at 3452 and then obviously the next resistance at 3472 so certainly expecting 3472 to be triggered so keep an eye on that okay let's just uh, update this as well uh, you have this key diagonal trend line so if the market does flush on the door on the um, to, to the downside then you have this key zone key support at 3430 so watch out for support 3430 if 3440 fails to uh, play out okay so again uh conclusion really is that asian markets are shaking off uh, the healthcare bill concerns healthcare bill may even pass we don't know yet at all okay certainly are indications that it will okay so we go back to uh, normality uh, given the fact that US markets certainly want to uh, move higher. Now, the SP 500, I'll certainly do a separate video on the SP with it being a potential double bottom here now. Okay, uh, looking for a bounce here on the SP up to 2360, uh, possibly higher up to 2370, uh, even higher if the healthcare bill were to pass. And again, focus turns back on to the uh, healthcare bill, or should we say tax reform, okay, and uh, banking uh, deregulation, certainly helping equities globally. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the uh, bonus. Goodbye now.